Social justice is for everyone. It's a way to make sure that we're all seen as human beings, that we're all equitably treated. I think it's really just educating. Growing up in a more diverse background, I've learned about a lot of different people and I've grown to be compassionate and to really want to make the world a better place. I think it's a Mother Teresa quote that talks about true power is quiet. Most change may involve loud, boisterous talk, but true change is quiet change. Kids in urban settings, you know, a lot of them, either their fathers aren't there or they don't have that male to look up to. That was a big part of my decision to become a teacher, to be that positive male influence in their life, because students don't always get that, and I think it's needed. For me, social justice in the classroom is very different than the one-shot celebration of Cinco de Mayo or putting the poster up on Martin Luther King Day. I challenge them to push past those superficial treatments of culture and get to the real depth of students' identities. It's about extremely high expectations for students, maintaining that at all costs. You gotta get people in the right places to help make some of these important decisions. The door's been cracked open, but we need more people with the credentials and the skills to help make those decisions. And sometimes, when you're the only person in the community, for you to stand up, you don't have a lot of people that have your back because they haven't walked in your shoes.